Hey everybody, when you go out to eat in a restaurant, do you like a quiet place where you can easily hear each other talking, or do you like a high energy place with loud music playing and you kind of have to yell to hear each other? If you're looking for a quiet place, there's an app for that. It's called Soundprint. It's a crowdsource application that started out of New York City, and basically, people contribute to it when they go out to eat and they use this sound check to record the decibel levels and the location of the restaurant, then you can search the database and say, I'm looking for a quiet restaurant in my neighborhood tonight, my family's visiting, and you can use Soundprint to find the kind of place you want to go out to eat. Now, of course, if you also want a noisy restaurant and you enjoy that, you could find a noisy restaurant through Soundprint. Either way, I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. So Soundprint is an app that works on both iOS and Android. It started a few years ago, but of course, during the COVID lockdown, people weren't eating in restaurants. Sometimes they were closed, or sometimes we ate outside, and of course that was quieter. And now more restaurants are filling up again, so the noise levels are starting to go up and become an issue. The Soundprint app has three basic functions. Search to find a restaurant by its neighborhood, the type of food, or the decibel level. Sound check, which you can use when you're in the restaurant to capture the noise level and share it with others. Just run the sound check for at least 15 seconds and it will capture the decibel level and the geolocation and you can post it to a map for others to search for. And finally, submissions. You can look up the contributions you've made to Soundprint. So let's say you have guests in town and you want to find a quiet, low-key restaurant to go to for dinner. You can search the app by location or by the type of food you want, and you'll get a list that shows the decibel levels and how far away that restaurant is from you. You can also look through all of the Soundprint listings from their website at soundprint.co. Here you can just browse their list by city. Let's say you're planning a trip itinerary. This could be really helpful. Okay, so how do you make a submission to Soundprint? Let's say you want to post a restaurant either because it's quiet or because it's super noisy. So in the Soundprint app, tap Sound Check, then tap Start. You'll see a list of tips like don't talk while you're doing the sound check, make sure you have at least a foot of distance in all directions, and do the sound check for at least 15 seconds. Tap Got It to start. You'll see a real-time decibel reading and a classification like quiet or loud at the top of the screen. When you're done collecting the decibels, tap Select Venue. Based on your geolocation, it will give you a list of venues, which are pretty accurate. If the venue doesn't show up on the list, you can add it. And finally, you can browse through all your submissions you've made already in the Submissions section. Soundprint becomes even more helpful when more people contribute to it. So a restaurant might be noisy on a particular day because someone's having a birthday party there, but normally it's not as loud. Or it could be quiet one day, but normally it's not. So your contributions make a difference and crowdsourcing really helps. Your contributions might even convince a restaurant owner to put some sound panels on the walls because the hard surfaces in a restaurant are one of the main reasons why it gets so loud inside. I'll put links in the description for the downloads to the Soundprint app and to the Soundprint website, where you can learn some more. And of course, to learn more about noise and acoustics, visit soundproofist.com.